Hi guys, welcome to Piping Welding and Non-Destructive Examination NDT and this is my channel Piping Welding Non-Destructive Examination NDT So well, so this video is regarding how to check your line in a FNID So we have isometric here So this is my isometric and this is the line of isometric and we have also a PNID number, okay? To check your uh, line in the PNID, you must first check your PNID number. So in the PNID number, you can see here, okay? So this is the PNID number, and the PNID number is 060003-01, okay? And also, check your size okay we have a size of 1500 and also check the line number so this is the our line number 060cd002 okay from this isometric number we will see it from the pnid okay so this is our PNID okay in the isometric drawing the number of our PNID number is 060003 okay we will see here so this is zero sixty zero zero three. so this is our PNID now our line number is 060500CD003. So this is our line for the PNID, this highlighted line. And the line number is here. So this is our line number. So this line is stopping point from the this vessel. Okay. Check the line number and check the size of the pipe. Okay. So that's all for now guys and I hope you have learned about how to line how to check the line your line in the PNID so thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and like my video bye bye hi guys welcome to piping welding and non-destructive examination or NDT so this is my channel just click here and subscribe on you can play more videos regarding piping welding and and dt okay and dt is non-destructive examination so by the way this is my topic this is a test package we have two test packages and how to be satisfied or releasing for testing this test package okay first line to be line is shall be completed okay here we have based on this based on this isometric drawing and based on the test limit from the PNID line shall be completed okay and also fans list all fans list category A must be cleared and signed by contractor and uh, signed by the company okay this category and also the documents here all the documents here must be clear okay like the isometric isometric must be uh, new revision and they have a highlighted line and also test limit okay this is uh, important also the WIR or the welding welding report okay must be completed from the WIR so welding history okay and and the done and the NDT okay must be satisfied from the NDT if this is RT is satisfied from 100% or 5% or empty they have empty or post post uh, post weld heat treatment PMI, ferrite, okay, must be 
completed from this test package okay meaning meaning the documents here must uh completed okay so this is how the test package um satisfied okay and and also this is the sample of the okay isometric drawing which is highlighted line and they have a test limit okay and also from the FNID if you see in the FNID so this is the FNID this is line to be testing okay this is from the vessel 2 this is highlighted line which is which is they have a test limit here and a test limit there okay so this is line to be test from the site okay and also this is must be shall be completed all attachment okay like uh, isometric drawing uh, free NID and calibration certificate from the pressure gauge okay and double IR the welding histories or the have a uh, plus uh, punch list shall be completed from this test packet to be task satisfied from the testing after all test uh, documents completed and all line all funds lists are completed and must be this is signing or signed by the contractor and the company for releasing for releasing in testing okay which is this is a pneumatic or the hydro test okay and also must be the permit or permit for the safety must be have attachment from this part test packet to be satisfied and to release for the testing okay during testing during testing okay all documents is completed all sign already signing and now we are going to testing line okay and they have a safety permit okay permit for the test package All the uh, all inspector, all the uh, supervisor, all four month must be there. And during testing, and now we have a pressurized pressure for this line. And now we have a fresh uh, going to pressure in this uh, line. All vent must be shall be open. Okay, all vent shall be open during filling time because air is trapped from the pipe and must be out from the vent so that if this vent is already uh, all air is must be shall be releasing and after all uh, air releasing and then close the vent and then pressurize and 50 50 70 and 100 percent not uh, totally 100 percent for pressurize must be first is 50 and 70 and and then 100 percent after 50 50 first and all line shall be all joint inspection or this is pneumatic if this is pneumatic you have a swab or a soap spray for the all joints okay and also inspector must be line checking for during testing okay so thanks for watching guys i hope you have uh, learned about this uh, video regarding satisfying of test package and bye bye have a nice day hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video is regarding how to do line check part two okay we start here so we have a bolt here just comment the bolt here um, to reinstall the bolt after testing because we have a test limit here 
So it means after testing, just put a permanent bolts, okay, or after commissioning, okay. Check the joint is already welded. Check the joint here must be a temp for a permanent bolts and gasket, okay. So why? So this is uh, uh, in line. So this is not a breaking point. So this is must be a permanent bolts, nuts, and gasket, okay. And also. If you see this symbol, so this is slope. So we have a slope of 0.20%. So you must check also the slope if they have slope. And we have a support here. So check the support. From the support details, if the support is correct based on length and also the height, type of support. Guide is only category B and the uh, other support welded on the pipe is category A if this is only tacking, okay? So we have a support again here and this is a joint, check also the joint. This is important because sometimes joint is have a tape or masking tape you must check it or remove the tape sometimes because the tape that this joint is sometimes is tacking only so you must check if they have tape okay if this is already welded okay so this is joint also we have the slope here also 0.20 percent check the slope and we have a support here and check also the type of materials the type of materials is correct the size okay and from here the size of a uh, bolt the length and the gasket must be correct okay we will the orientation this is important if correct orientation based on northing okay is thing and also the length if they have uh, damage from the pipe check also the pipe from the bottom Okay. Check if they have uh, some uh, excess tacking not removing. Must be flash grind and must be proceed for the NDT. Okay, to check or uh, NDT if they have damage from the pipe from the tacking must be NDT or empty. Okay, magnetic test proceed it. Okay. So this is the important way to line check. You must check all, all, all from here. You must check here from the description. If this all connected, connected here is correct based on the description. Okay, the size, the code. Okay. So let's here. Let's check for the continuation. So this is the continuation. So we have this loop. And this is the support. Check the support details from the support. We have a slope. And this is also support. Check also from the support details. So this is a welded tight support. This is a trunion. Okay. So that's all for now, guys. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.